And that requires a whole different skill set. It requires the skill set of being able to educate. It requires a skill set of being able to give feedback and coach performance. So <clears throat> I always talk about the fact that leadership differs, differs at every level. And there's a subtractive component as we move up and an additive component. So uh, in this case, we're letting go of the comfortable, familiar individual contributor, professional technical work. We're boldly stepping away from our professional identity and taking on our leadership identity. And we do that by beginning to develop those uh, team skills and interpersonal skills that enable us to develop the people who report to us. Yeah, and it's and, a very hard transition to make typically for engineers. Yes, yeah. You speak about that from your own experience. Both from my own experience, <laughs> my personal experience, and also from women I coach. I think that uh, one of the challenges is like, I, I used to solve problems. I used to be good engineers. What now I'm not going to be the best engineer. I'm going to be actually working with people that may be smarter than me as problem solvers, but I'm measured not by solving specific technical problem. I'm, I'm measured by having a great, well-performing team and developing them. 